Hi everyone. Um, it's Saturday evening. It's absolutely wonderful. The weather is glorious and I've decided to go to Digworth Dining Club. And today is the British Street Food Awards. So I've come here with a couple of friends just to check it out, see what culinary delights are around. And I've actually come outside. I've already been in. I've come outside because it's way too noisy and filming and trying to do this at the same time, you would not be able to hear me. I can't even hear myself. Um, but yeah, so it's the British Street Food Awards and it's absolutely fantastic. So yes, there's all sorts of food here. There's Lebanese food, Indian food. I'm personally going to look for the burger because I love a good burger. Um, there's all sorts here. So I'm going to go inside, I'm going to check it out and I will let you know what I have and how it tastes. Hi guys, so I've just been in to have a, a movie around to see what's going on and I have to be honest, it's incredible. All the food on offer is absolutely fantastic. Um, there's Lebanese food, um, like from, well basically there's a stall there that's food from the Middle East. There's burgers, I found a burger place, there's a mobile Greek restaurant, there's um, just so much food, I just could, oh, I could just sleep in there and just have all the food just draped all over it, it's just amazing and I don't even know where to start, there's Caribbean food as well, there's just everything that you could possibly want and it's all street food like I said because of Street Food Awards, it's fantastic. So I'm going to go in there shortly and try it, try all the food. I mean all the food and I will let you know what I think but honestly it's, it's just great all this food it's like it's like I've died and gone to food heaven it's fantastic um, so yeah watch this space so, yeah, kind of so Matt can you tell me what you've got here please I've got I have got uh, barbecue jerk uh, jerk pork belly rice peas and coleslaw with some very mental hot sauce somewhere around there. Oh, and and this beautiful green, I think it's, uh, uh, what, what is that? Some nice green stuff, yeah, it's good. Okay, so, and on, it's just... from the calabash tree, and oh, okay. they do Caribbean food. Well, let me just put the air, have a quick... It looks lovely. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, that's really nice. Mm, I like it, man. <laughs> so Steve, what have you got there? So I've got a beef shin croquette uh, with some with some miso and some mustard and some I think what looked like some just be on the top as well. Right. So I'm just about to try my beef shin croquette. Right. It's full, well, and beef. It's really flavoursome. The meat is really tasty. Okay, fantastic. So, 
This is from a place called the School for the Libertines. We've got chili cheese chips, a chicken bacon burger, and beef burger. Mm -mm -mm. All for six pounds. So I'm not going to mess around, I'm just going to tuck into the. Just get straight in. Oh. Good. That is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, that's looking juicy, to be fair. Yeah. Let's try these chips. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Yeah. What kind of sauce are we talking about? So these, these chips. Yeah. Covered in chili and cheese. And they're incredible. And this is bacon and chicken. Oh man! Now I'm not a huge fan of um, chicken burgers or bacon burgers, but I will try it anyway. Yeah. And now I've been converted. Hit that the spot. Is absolutely fantastic. So how is that different to a normal chicken bacon burger type thing? Well, what's it got in there? What are we talking? It's obviously where they get. Their um, oh yeah, their food. Only this where they get the meat from. This it's probably organic. Oh man, that's good. Um, it's incredible. That is good. That is fantastic. This is unbelievable. Right, I'm not exaggerating. No. I wish this was five times bigger. Really? Oh yeah, it's fantastic. Um, no, the, that's water. The Libertines want my vote. Um, they probably could get my vault, but I'm going to try some more food later. Okay, so we have from the Middle Feast a chicken kebab and a lamb kebab. It's covered in hot harissa sauce and all, all sorts of wonderful concoctions. So. I'm going to try the chicken first. Now, yeah, that's the best part. That is so good. But now I'm going to try the lamb. Lamb is my favourite meat. I'm expecting something to crack it again. It's literally food heaven. It's superb. The call the Middle Feast and the Mike and my boat. I'll let you know shortly. Alright guys, so as you can probably see the sun has gone down, the night has drawn close and I'm full. Well, almost full. Now, I said I was going to tell you who I was going to vote for. And so basically, um, it was the Libertines, well, Libertine Burger they're called, and they had like little taster sliders, which was um, the chicken burger, well, chicken bacon burger, a beef burger, and um, chili cheese chips. And the Middle Feast, which were, they also gave us taster portions, which were huge. Um, what you saw in the pictures earlier, uh, what we filmed earlier, there weren't um, a normal portion, they were literally taster portion. So it makes you wonder how big their normal portions are. Anyway, so we've all been voting and both were excellent. The lady who served me at the Middle Feast, she was so enthusiastic about her food. And she was excellent, she was absolutely brilliant. And just on that alone, I wanted to vote for the Middle Feast, just for them, because she was brilliant. Um, however, I decided that if I was on a desert island and I was stuck, and I had to choose out of those two, either the Libertine Burger or the Middle Feast, which would I happily 
have on this desert island and it would have been the Libertine Burger um, because it was absolutely fantastic. There's absolutely nothing wrong with um, the chicken and lamb kebab. It was fantastic. But the burger edged it. And I kid you not, it was fantastic. Oh, honestly, I, I, I mentioned earlier that I wish the burger was like five times bigger, and I really do. Um, anyway, so that's my vote. I voted for Libertine Burger, but the winners haven't been announced yet, so I will let you know in due course who won. Thank you to everyone, the results. There are two, as always, there are two sets of awards, the ones that you voted on. Uh, the, the people that came in, you were given a paper vote, and you're also given a vote on the app, and uh, so we totaled those two up. But then there was the judges' vote. Uh, for the first time ever, the judges' vote was tied. So we have two uh, the judges' traders going forward to the finals in Manchester. And the first of those, um, Andy's Low and Slow. Going through, it was as I said, the, the judges could not decide, um, and so well, I've got two two going through, and the, the ones going to Manchester with Andy's low and slow. Um, homeboys, I read you three, two, one in third place, mobilising their vote on the app, ladies and gentlemen, and they are they're, they're younger than most of us here. Uh, Libertine Burger. Okay, you don't have to hug me if you don't want. Second. Um, Bourneville Waffle. It was very close, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, the winner, leading all the way from the star, the English Indian. So, that's the end of Digbeth Dining Club's night. Well, for me and my mates. Um, it's been a brilliant evening slash night. And um, we got the results that you've probably seen. The English Indian won the People's Award. And who won the Judges Award? Uh, the one that I had. Something Boys. Rude, bo not Rude yeah. Boys. Rude Boys, or Andy Boys. And we were home, in home Boys? Yeah, Home, home Boys, boys. that's it. Home Boys. <laughs> How bad home are we? Boys. We've not had that much to drink. We had more to eat than we've had to drink, and we still can't remember who won. The homeboys, yeah, homeboys won, and that was what Steve had. I didn't introduce you guys to Steve and Matt, but never mind. I'm introducing you now. Hi, Hello. I'm Steve. I had the homeboys. Oi, oi. So yeah, Steve had the, the homeboys, which sounds dodgy, but never mind. And yeah, so Steve, they're the winners. Steve, the homeboys. <laughs> yeah, nice. But yeah, so it's been a great night. It's been really friendly. Great vibe and we're almost full so now we're off to have some more drinks in Birmingham so thank you I hope you've enjoyed that if you have could you please um, give it a thumbs up a like or even subscribe that would be brilliant so yeah we'll speak to you uh, next time guys okay thank you